Hi guys, it's Phil. It's been a little while since I uploaded a video, so I thought I'd do another one just to let you know what I've been getting up to. Right, so I haven't actually like played Age of Sigma since that battle report. Um, I need to get another game in soon, so if anyone wants to have a go against my Nurgle, get in touch and we can meet up somewhere in Leicester if that's any good for you. And I'd be happy to play anyone. Um, other than that, I'll just show you what I've been working on. So I rebased this guy for a start. This is um, obviously the Skink Star Priest for the Seraphon army. Um, and the main reason I did that was because I picked up the Seraphon starter box. And I might have shown that off, I can't remember. But anyway, uh, here's the kind of star piece from that box. It's my uh, Carnosaur with, I think it's the Scar Veteran riding it. Um, yeah, this was a really awesome kit. It went together really easily. Um, a lot easier than, say, the Drakov from the Age of Sigmar starter set. Um, it was a really nice kit, and it came with loads of cool spare pieces as well for me to use on bases or what have you. Um, and I really enjoyed painting this one. It was really cool. I've done it purple, so it kind of fits in with the rest of my... Um, well, to go with my Stormcaster's allies, really. And I've done, obviously, the eyes and the mouth kind of glowing there which is a celestial glow because obviously they're made out of pure starlight now starlight not starlight i can't talk properly right now um but yeah starlight um so that's those guys so yeah i've done that guy i've also painted up the saurus warriors or at least 11 of them because i couldn't find where the 12 guy went i assembled them all and one of them disappeared and i've got no idea where he went so i've currently got these I've got my uh, Slan Mage Priest that I did years ago that you probably could see in an older video somewhere. Uh, if not, check out my Instagram. at I'll post a link for that somewhere. Blah, 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 down in the description probably. And you can see that. And I've also been working on... Well, at the moment my current project is the Lord Castellans, but he's not ready yet. But I did paint up his little Griff Hound which was one I did pretty much last night. He's quite shiny because he's had some varnish on him because I wanted to protect the paint job. Um, but yeah, I was really happy with this one. This was a lot of fun to paint, and I actually wish they came in like a unit of five in a box, a bit like maybe the Fenrisian Wolves box set, because I think this would be an awesome thing, and I'd love to do a little tutorial on how I painted this as well. Um... If anyone's got one of these they don't want, I don't know how likely that is because it comes only with the Lord Castellant. But I would absolutely love to do a little kind of tutorial on that. Or maybe I'll be able to get hold of some Demigriff Knights somehow and do something similar on those. Um, so that's that. And away from AOS, I painted this girl up. I'm going to move these out of the way so the camera can focus a little bit easier. Because it's a bit when there's a distracting background, your camera can have a bit of trouble focusing. So there we go. Let's just zoom that in there. So obviously this is, I think, the Calidus assassin, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and you can tell I didn't do her in the standard color scheme. I wanted to do something that was a bit different. Now I've seen loads of these where they're basically just copying the box art, which is fine. That's cool. And I've seen a bunch of them which are done like Deadpool or Spider-Man. And I didn't want to do that either because that's I feel like that's a little bit overdone now. So this was actually done with colour references from a character from the like extended Dragon Ball Z universe. Uh, Jacko the Intergalactic Patrolman. Those kind of colours. So that was my inspiration for the colour scheme here. Um, so that's probably not going to focus very well but you can see she's got the yellow eyes on a light blue faceplate and then it's like a purpley pink bodysuit and the weapons have got this kind of green as the nice spot colour there which I've also replicated on her hair tie up there as well so I think that came out really nicely actually I was really happy with the result it was basically painted over the course of a day um, and I just kind of put the whole day into it and I think the re results were well worth the effort actually um, yeah so I painted that one with mostly glazes as well like thinning the paint down a lot with Lamy and medium 
which I also did on the Demi Griff. I did a lot of thinning down there, and I think it gives you a much nicer kind of blend between shades. I don't know if you can really see, but particularly around his neck and on his stomach there, you can see I've tried to fade the colours just there and up there, and around his feet as well. Um, and that is basically from using Lamian Medium to kind of thin the paint down. It doesn't dry in that kind of weird way it does when you thin it down too much with water. It still kind of just glazes it nicely. So I'd really recommend if you're looking to try something new, pick up some of that Lamian Medium and just see how you get on with it. Because it gives really nice smooth paint jobs. Yes, it takes a few more layers to build up the colour. But that's a good thing when you're trying to blend. So, yeah. That's uh, that and my little hobby tip for the day. Next up on the table, like I say, I've got this Lord Castellan who's a big job because there's a lot of detail on there. Um, I'm beginning to wish I hadn't stuck him down to the base with plastic glue before I uh, started painting him because getting under there to the cloak is going to be a pain in the bum. Um, but that's that. And then beyond that, I've got some Saurus Knights unassembled in that start collecting box. And yeah, that's where I'm up to. That's what I've got left to paint at the moment. I'd really, really like to get a box of the new Fire Slayers, or at least one of the character models. But obviously, being on Job Seekers and not having housing benefit coming in right now because of circumstances being a little bit under, not under my control, um, yeah, I haven't got a lot of money to buy stuff right now. But that's all that. Right, so anyway, I'll leave that there, and I hope you enjoyed this little video, and see you again soon. Bye!